So I have an Arian Zoom 2040 here that the engine is, well, it's interesting anyway. But the bottom line is the PTO clutch won't come off. It's an electric PTO clutch. Yeah, he's got some, uh, some good JB weld to the engine going on up here. So we're gonna put a different engine on this thing, but first we've gotta get the electric PTO clutch off. I've got all the wires and everything off here. But the problem seems to be that it won't come off, no matter what I'm doing here. It's not wanting to come off whatsoever. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and use an air impact gun here. So. Just a nice little air chisel, air cutoff tool, whatever you like to call them, but we use a blunt end on it. The blunt end helps just kind of vibrate everything through here to get the penetrating oil down through. So we like to use Kimball Midwest penetrating oil, but anything out there, WD-40, any other kind of lube, uh, we use Primrose every now and again also their protecto lube but whatever you've got laying around that's what you're going to use for this and you're basically going to want to use a straw and get up to the highest point of the top so right up in here at the top show you here as high as you can get up so right all along in there you're going to want to spray that lube to get it up under the lip of that top pulley so you spray all along up there if you can access it from the top through the engine frame or anything like that if you look down through and you can see the middle of the pulley you can start up there also but a lot of times getting up there is very hard unless you can get to it through the engine frame this one you can't really do that at all the Kohler it sits tight down against the frame some of the brakes will come up in some spots which allow you to get to it very easily but here also between the top pulley and the electric clutch there is a brake so those are two separate pieces you can also get some lubricant down in there so just spray right in between those two the lubricant's not going to hurt the clutch at all it might hurt the camera if it gets it on there but You can let that sit for a varying amount of time. It really just depends on how bad it is, how long it's gonna to take to soak in, but normally with this trick, it does pretty well. So from there, I'm gonna go down to the bottom nut here just so I can show you kinda of, of where you're gonna to need to vibrate this at. So there's two different places to vibrate this whole assembly at. The air compressor went on there, figured it'd be a good time to go ahead and clean the lens off of any of that lubricant that may have got on there. And then also go ahead and give it a couple minutes to soak. Elapsed time, maybe two or three minutes. From here, on the bottom nut of the unit, this is the, the main nut here in the center. So that's where you're gonna wanna hit with your impact here, so. Anywhere on that bottom nut, anywhere here, that's where you're gonna wanna hit. So you wanna stay away from the center, that way you don't mess up the bolt hole here, but you'll just go around the outside. And you'll push up at the same time and it kinda just vibrates that whole shaft. Seems like the first part of it wants to come down now, but the, the rest of the clutch doesn't want to follow at this point. We're gonna go ahead and spray it again up top.
again, as much as you can get up in there, it's not gonna hurt anything. You cannot over lube it. Not gonna hurt a thing whatsoever. Light's not wanting to cooperate real well, but we got it there. Come back up so we can see the top here again. Let that soak for just one more minute while we're at it. See the bottom here is kind of loose. It wants to come off the top here just still. Real, real difficult. So we're gonna hit the bottom here one more time, the bottom nut, and then I'm gonna try the middle here also. If you can get to the middle in between the pulley and the clutch, you can also hit just right along that metal piece in the middle. And again, that's just kind of a rattling that tries to free things up. If that does not work, there's one more trick here that I'll show you for extremely difficult ones. It should get it every time. And that's kind of the, the last of the last resort here, you know. These things should take any clutch out there off. So, with this process, and it, it may take a couple times sometimes, but with this process, it does it. any movement I'm not getting any anything out of it so that's not helping and again I don't think I really have any up on top there there's no real good way to get at it through the engine I tried up top over here a little bit ago but I'm not sure I see some rust dripping down there as I hit it from the inside but the inside there at the bottom is already freed up so Hit it one more time here. What happens there? Still not coming off. All right. We'll get it from the side here. Just come in anywhere there that you're not hitting anything important you don't want to hit any of the important areas there. Looks like the clutch just kind of fell apart there. Second part of the clutch comes off. And then there's the top pulley. You just gotta turn it over there. Get that belt off. And the pulley. I thought it already popped off of there. And your pulley's off. Nice and easy. So basically what that did there, as we were running it, is it was getting lube all down through here. So as you're seeing there, it's wet all down through there. There's lube on the inside and it's vibrated all that through all that rust everywhere. On here. That's where that shaft sits on there. It's all just completely, completely, completely soaked with penetrating oil. So that vibration vibrated that all down through there to loosen everything up and to just make it kind of pop right off of there. Again, sometimes it's more difficult than others. Some are more stuck on, 
but this method always works. This is the best method to do it. So the, the only other thing that you can add from that point, if there's an issue with one that is even more stubborn than this. So this was kind of a stubborn one. Some of the electri electric clutches get really, really stubborn. So the only other thing you can do is you can introduce something to pry on it. Now, when I say that, I don't mean go get a, a six foot pry bar and start ruining everything in sight because this metal here is very, very weak. So it will withstand not very much pry force. So what I like to do is get a pry bar, something like this. And so this is up in here and you wanna just kinda of pry against the top of the frame and then as far in on the pulley as you can get. So as you're prying, you'll be prying actually up here, way at the front against the shaft. And then you'll be at the top here against the frame. So, and you don't wanna pry extremely hard to where you start getting back over here where the metal's weak on the outside, but on the inside here, the metal is pretty strong. So as you're, you know, hitting this with the vibration here on the side, you know, if it's real tough, you'll be hitting it there and you'll be prying up here at the same time and that'll move everything down. Just gives it a little bit of downward pressure to start it moving. Once it starts moving, it'll come off. If it comes a little ways and you notice a gap and it stops, push it back up there, push it back on. You know, spray some lube on that on that part that's came down a little bit and then push it back up just to work all that through it. I mean, that's completely soaked all the way up and down here and that's just because that vibration brought it down through. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe.